It is the UFC's number 14 ranked welterweight, Vicente Luque, who was just recently announced for a five-round matchup against the legend in Nick Diaz, Saturday, August the 3rd in Abu Dhabi. And Vicente, I know what a fight fan you are, man. I know how much you love this sport. So to be fighting a guy like Nick Diaz, a guy that I imagine even you grew up watching fight in the early days, uh, what's it like for you? Man, it's it's amazing, you know. He is definitely one of the guys that I I you know dreamt about fighting uh, before getting into the UFC. He was one of the guys that I was watching a lot, and you know, I, I at this point I thought I wasn't gonna fight him anymore, and now I get this crazy news, and I was like, okay, let's go, you know, let's go. I even like when Ali told me, I asked him, is it Nick or is it Nate who you're talking about? He's no, it's Nick. It's really Nick. I said, okay, let's go. That's going to be fun. That's amazing. So I was wondering how this fight came about because, like you, I mean, when we saw this announcement, I think everybody was just like, what? Was was not expecting that. So did Ali just reach out to you and out of the blue and have this offer? Or did you know that maybe it was in the works? Like, how did it all come about? Yeah, he did reach out for me uh, to me a, a while back, and it kind of was in the works before. So he talked about the fight August 3rd, uh, Abu Dhabi, and, and Nick, and then – I was super excited. I said, yeah, I mean, if let's let's do it. I'm down for sure. And then maybe two or three weeks after that, I'm not sure. That's when I actually got like the fight finalized and we got to to you know sign everything. And, and really that that's when I was okay. It is gonna happen. You know, that's when I also got to know when I got the contract. That's when I saw it was gonna be a five rounder. Uh, so yeah, I was really excited. Uh, I, I'm, I don't know how, you know, it got to happen, but I'm excited. It's going to happen. <laughs> I love it. You touched on the five round aspect of it as well. So that wasn't even discussion. You didn't know until you saw the contract that it, this is going to be a five round fight. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we, we didn't mention a lot about it. Ali didn't talk to me, but you know, I know that the UFC knows that I'm always down for that. Even when, Back in the days when I was trying to fight Nate, I threw it out there. We can have a 10-rounder, 10, 10 you know, make it kind of like a boxing fight. So, yeah, I love the more rounds, the better. I feel like I'm, I'm always like I don't really get tired. I, there's a point where kind of like the body just goes. If it's going to be 10 rounds, 15 rounds, it just goes, you know, and I feel like it's it just makes it extra fun, you know. I don't know if it's gonna go all the five, but still to have that possibility, it's it's more more rounds that I can get a finish and, and chase for that finish. That's amazing. You talked about the advantages there. I mean, do you think it favors you versus him? I know he always wants to fight as me, right? It's kind of like the Gracies, right? They don't want no time limit, they just want to fight forever. So do you think it favors either one of you more than the other? I think it's kind of like I think it's the same in a way, but maybe I am in better shape right now. I'm, I'm younger, I'm fresher, and I've, I've fought two five-minute, uh, you know, five-rounders, and I did on both of them, I felt really, really fresh. It's not something that, that you know, and I think also, like, when I watch fights now, there are so many more five-rounders, and everybody's so ready for that five-rounders. I feel like it's it's different times. But still, like, I, I know that he does really well on five rounders, so I would put it like a 50-50. You know, it's it's not for me or for him. It's just an extra, you know, an extra ingredient to make it a great fight. I love it. All right, let's talk about, uh, like you said, you knew it was going to be in Abu Dhabi. It's a long trip to get over there, right? I mean, that's the other side of the world. So did the location where the matchup was taking place, did that give you any pause at all? Did you say, like, ah, man, can we find something here? Were you open to it? What did you think when you heard, we got to go to Abu Dhabi? I mean, I think that the name makes it really special. Plus, you know, Abu Dhabi, I feel like back in the days when it was like the pandemic and all that, I don't think it would have been that fun because it was like lockdown and everything. But now we're going to have a crowd. It's going to be a big show. You know, I know that everything in Abu Dhabi is big. So that also motivates me. You know, I think it, it gives us, you know, there is always risk by taking you know, a fight in a different place where I got to fly many hours. It's going to be a, a big time difference. But then again, my opponent is going to go through the same. You know, we're, we're both going to be uh, in, in, in the same situation. So I think it's just about getting adapted. You know, this is this is actually, you know, what we get now of, of war. It's, it's like war for me. And wherever I got to go, I'm going to go. I'm going to adapt and do what I got to do, which is go in there and, and beat that guy. 
I love it. Are you have you figured out the plans yet? Are you planning on maybe going over there a little early to get used to the time change or doing some training over there? Like what's uh, have you fit, mapped that out yet? I haven't. Uh, I've talked to a, a few people and some some people think that I should get there a little bit before. Other people say like it's not a big you know deal to get there uh, right in, the, in like as usual, especially because the fights are in different times there. Then then so it's kind of like. I just got to adjust my sleep to that. So maybe I'm going to be sleeping, you know, during the day and staying awake during the night just so I get used to the to the hours so that I can be fresh and, and awake when I'm going to fight. So I think that's the biggest adjustment. And I, I'm not a guy that, you know, takes long to get adjusted. It's, it's not really hard for me. So I don't think it's going to be a big issue. I'm still going to figure that out if it's going to be before or, you know, as usual. I like to train – you know, at my home base here in Kilcliffe, as as much as I can. If I could only go to Wayans and fight, that's what I would do. So I, I think I, I'm gonna be more favorable to go maybe on the weekend. You know, of, of the fight, uh, previous to the fight, and and just stay there for a week. Nice. How do you prepare for Nick Diaz at this point, right? Because we all know the guy, right? I mean, he's he's a legend of the game. We've all seen the highlights. He's, he's but but there's not a lot of tape on him recently, right? So. How do you game plan and what do you prepare for when you're facing a guy that, you know, just hasn't been super active lately? I think that it's kind of the best game planning for me. Uh, you know, I, I watch. We obviously are going to kind of like train for some things that some things that we know that he does. We have that fight against Robbie. Uh, Robbie is one of the coaches, you know, there at Killcliffe right now. He's working with everyone there. So we got closed eyes, you know, a guy that just – recently fought him so that's gonna help a lot but then again you know a guy like nick it's gonna be a fight it's always gonna be a fight with him no matter how much you game plan they know like he nick knows how to make it a hard fight he be it on the ground or on the stand-up he knows how to you know bring uh an extra spice for the fight and i feel like i'm the same way i can make it wherever it is i can make it a dirty fight i can make it a tough fight so that's what I feel like. This fight is a fight that I go out there and I fight the best way I can. That is going, you know, and and and, and throwing everything I got, trying to take that guy out, and and just making it a dirty fight. And and that's what I feel like he's gonna do. So that's the game plan. I love it. I think you can see the smile on your face. I know how excited you are for this fight. Do you? So as you're getting ready, do you have your training partners like talk trash to you and like turn their back and maybe lay down? I mean, do you get them to try to mimic all that stuff that he does? They haven't started yet, but I think at some point they're gonna start playing around with that. Uh, I had like one of one of our coaches, Jason Strout. He was holding mitts for, to me, like for me, and he started kind of opening his hands and trying to slap me around. So they're for, for sure they're gonna be trying to you know have fun with this too, and and it's it's definitely gonna help. You know, I, I know that that's gonna happen during the fight, so it's nice to be ready for that. You know, it's 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 a fist fight, man. It's a cage fight. But, I mean, is there going to be any part of you that as that thing is starting, you're just kind of like smile? I mean, I know you fought everybody, but this is just like a different level. Is there going to be part of you that's just like kind of giddy as you're in there? Like, oh, my God, that's Nick Diaz over there? For sure. I mean, I'm, I'm going to get to step on the octagon, you know, with this legend and and get, you know, a, a crazy fight against him. For me, it's it's definitely excites me a lot, and. It's that kind of fight that I really want to go out there and fight, you know, and enjoy it. Not really – I'm not thinking about, oh, what, what's going to come after this. I'm thinking about this fight. I want to go in there and, and really enjoy this fight, go out there and fight. In, like it, it, every moment, you know, when, I, when I'm when i down to fight and go there to war, that's the best fight you can get out of me. And this kind of, this, this is a fight that that's, that's what I want to do. I love it, man. This feels like a special attraction. But I know you want to get results too, right? I mean, look, I know it's been a little bit frustrating. You've had opponent changes. You've had delays. You've had a couple of losses along the way. So I guess on the one hand, this is just going to be a fun fight, right? I mean, this is checking one off the bucket list. But on the other hand, is there a part of you that's like, hey, I really got to get a win here and show that I'm still that guy that deserves respect in this division? Yeah, for sure. I think that – I think this is why it's a great moment to have this fight. And why do I say that? Uh, I had a big moment of adjustment after the Jeff Neal fight. And RDA was a fight where a lot of people could see a lot of the things that, that I improved, that I evolved. 
Buckley was a fight where I just wasn't able to put everything together the way I wanted to. But then again, I, I saw a lot of things that I that I had to kind of like bring back and that I left behind. So that's the thing about changing, about evolving, especially at it, this deep into this sport, you know, this deep into my career. Uh, I had a lot of great things that by trying to evolve, I left them aside. Now is the time where I try to put everything together. So I got new tools. I'm going to keep those. And let me bring back those things that, that made the silent assassin, the silent assassin and, and put it all together. So I think it's a great moment where I can go out there and I can fight a guy that is going to bring the best out of me naturally. You know, it's going to bring the best out of, out of who I am as a fighter, you know, not a game plan and not a guy that is going to go out there, just be safe. But I do have new tools. I can fight ev everywhere like I've always could, but just better, just at a higher level, even higher level. And that's what got me those win streaks. That was got me on the top five. And now I think that it's just even better. You know, I, I can get even further now. I love it. I love it. Well, listen, you, you get through Nick, you win this fight. I know you were asking for Nate for years. Do you keep calling and saying, hey, can I get Nate too? Or is just one Diaz brother yeah. enough for you? No, it's, I mean, let's get both Diaz brothers for sure. I would, I would love that. But as I said, I got to beat this guy first, and I, I, I want to enjoy it. I want to enjoy it. You know, not only trying to like, oh, I'm not going to underestimate. Of course I'm not going to underestimate this guy. But more than that, I want to enjoy this fight. I want to go out there and really beat this guy and, and get, you know, his name under my belt. And, and then we could, you know, enjoy it a little bit more. And after I enjoy that win too – then I'll think about what's next. I love it, man. Well, listen, it was a surprise announcement, but I think everybody was excited for the matchup. It's going to be a lot of fun. What's ideal for you? Is it that you go out there, you know, you're dominant, you get a first-round finish, or or do you kind of want it to go a little deep, you know, get a little war, have him talking to you a little bit, have him, you know, doing everything that we've seen him do over the years and have a little back-and-forth battle? Man, I don't know. The, the outcome of the fight is hard to really not only predict, but – there's nothing that I really want. What I want is the best Nick. I want that Nick that is going to go out there and try to try to get me out of there, you know, try to make it, you know, a long night for me. And I want to go out there and beat that Nick. Go be it submission, be it by a knockout. And if he can take everything I'm going to bring, it'll be a decision. But, but I think it's going to be, you know, a fight of the night. I think it's going to be a finish. You know, I'm motivated to finish him. You know, he's not a guy that has been finished much. So, I'm definitely motivated for that and and to to have you know a big challenge. That's what I want. I love it, man. Well, we know exactly what the matchmakers are doing with this one, man. It should be a lot of fun. And you finally get your Diaz brother you've been asking for for years. So, yes. Vicente, uh, appreciate the time. Best of luck in training, and we'll see you uh, in August. Thank you. Appreciate it. Let's go. Let's have a war.